Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and I am here to read to you level 2 of the back rooms, along with the entity that comes with it, which is known as a scratcher. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Please ask your questions in the comments to this video. Level 2, Pipe Dreams, Survival Difficulty, Class 2 is unsafe, secure, and has a low entity count. Level 2 is the third level of the back rooms. Description: Level 2 consists of long, dim concrete it made in hallways with steam pipes lining the walls and ceilings. Doors are really found, housing metal shelves and ventilation ducts. The pipes cause the heat in level 2 to reach immense temperatures, reportedly reaching 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 93 degrees Celsius, and higher, boiling any wanderer alive. It is described as being generally more decayed than the previous levels. Occasionally, doors can lead to small rooms that may contain machinery that are connected to the pipes present throughout the level. Random items that were left by other explorers can be found in the metal, in the metal shelves. Due to Due to the insalubrate conditions found in level 2, roaches and mice are found around the hallways. Some sections of level 2 are completely devoid of light, while some others are only lit up by alternate sources of light, such as flashlights and lamps. A notable humid, musty smell can be found in areas where the pipes exist. Level 2 is far more dangerous than level 1 due to the hazards above and sheer number of entities inhabiting the level. If you come into contact with a creature in this level, it is advised that you should run immediately, as they are incredibly hostile and will kill off most victims. As one walks in this level, after a few days, the pipes will start to go further and further in, until one cannot walk any further without uh, suffering severe or burns. If one persists at this point, the tunnel will close up behind them and they will be cooked alive. Entities Known entities that lurk in level 2 are Facelink, Hounds, Smilers, and Scratchers. Additional entities slightly lurk in the level, however. Colonies and Outposts Due to the nature of this level, colonies and outposts are unable to be established. Entrances and exits. There are only uh, uh, one of the only two uh, known ways to enter level two is via stairwell in level one. There, one can find an unlocked door that will lead to here. There are three known on ways of exiting level two. Finding a fire exit in level two will transport one to level three, despite the danger er er and risks. Finding an office-styled elevator will lead to level four. No clipping through a corner will rarely lead to levels 364. We're going to go over what a scratcher is. In the 58, scratchers. In the hazard class 4, any number 58, habitat. Levels with indoor spaces, meaning level 1 and level 2. <sighs> Scratchers are unpredictable entities that reside within indoor spaces of the various levels in the back rooms. However, it appears they have a developed an adaptation and preference towards level 1 and level 2. It is best to avoid them at all times, regardless of what their state is due to their unpredictable nature, as they can have uh, murderous tendencies like, the, like so many other entities. You should not underestimate them for their physical appearance, as they can overpower almost any water that they're sailing they are tall and slender, bipedal entities, typically with wandering, in, typically wandering with hunched backs. Their limbs are disfigured, but sometimes it's okay, creating loud cracking and popping noises when they are in their most active state. Despite no visible eyes, they appear to be very much aware of their surroundings, perhaps through feeling with their long claws and blurred vision through unknown means. It is known that they have unparalleled hearing, being able to discern all the various noises it hears in its environment. Each of your fingers have its long claws, and all cases of scratcher is attacking wanderers, their claws are, are always sharp. 
perhaps suggesting they only attack when prepared to do so. Behavior. The Colossal over time as they hunt prey, so they scratch hard surfaces, such as the walls and metallic pipes found in level 1 and level 2. Or anything that could be qualified as an efficient way to sharpen things. When sharpening, they are very occupied with the task and mindlessly wander or add that they let their claws drag against the surface of these sharp objects. Oftentimes, looking at, at wanderers and letting them pass while they do this. Perhaps they are perfectionists, desiring the sharpest claws possible before hunting, hunting, even if their claws are functioning without being sharpened to the absolute maximum. When their claws are fully open, they will enter multiple possible states. Dormant. They will stand tall, looking down at the ground. When provoked or startled or through visual simulation or through noises, they will exit this state and enter the next listen state, patrolling. Patrolling. They will wander the area, typically letting one clawed finger be dragged along the pipes or walls. They are seeking prey, but are completely unaware of where the prey is. Pursuing. When spotted, they will actively stalk their prey, typically wanderers, in the darkest pits they can find, with their backs hunched. They are typically patient and will only enter their attacking state under multiple triggers. The wanderer is greatly fatigued. The wanderer is going to attack it. The wanderer is in proximity to an exit that it knows of. Attacking. This behavior state should be very much self-explanatory. The scratcher will attack its main target with its, its sharp claws, scratching large chunks of flesh and aiming for weak spots of its prey. It will then absorb the corpse of the wanderer as a form of sustenance to maintain its own existence. Scratchers are very solitary entities, avoiding all entities and giving up on most prey when another entity is after its own targets. This is the only point they will stop in the attack state. Hibernation. This is a rare state scratchers can be found in, where it is more or likely a stronger version of their dormant state, where instead of waking up to stimuli, they are completely unresponsive and catatonic while staying in, in tall. When, why, and how they enter this state is unknown, but they last for several hours before they t enter their typical dormant state or wake up completely. Important advice. You should always be stealthy and attentive when you hear a scratching noise. Do not enter the field of view of the scratcher, as it will then see you as a target. You should always throw objects at it to slow it down and distract it before it enters its attacking state or during its attacking state. As previously said, it isn't worth putting up a fight against them. Biology Scratchers are physical creatures, as they bleed and develop scars. They develop scars fast, in fact, when experiencing in cuts or even loss of limbs. Their blood coagulates almost within seconds, with new tissue covering the point of injury. Scratchers are genetically unstable, if they share the same biological fundamentals as other life forms. Being found with various physical defects in various heights, sometimes exceeding the heights of uh, Anathicus. We're not going to look into that right now. Some are found with missing fingers, some have physical protrusions such as spikes or even tails. Scratchers are tall and slender, and never accumulate any obvious sign ice gains, despite consuming for many wanderers due to their high basal metabolic rate. You can a lot of consumption to sustain the life form's basic biological functions. When consuming sustenance or things, scratchers appear to absorb it into their bodies slowly. Their apparent stomachs are non-Euclidean as they try to consume many wanderers in a short time span. When the acclimated amount of wanderers exceeds their own size, occasionally they absorb the rest as they scratch off some surfaces, sometimes even small stones and pieces of wooden material when they find any. Discovery they doesn't know when the scratches were discovered, but because their deep preference to low number levels, especially level 1 and level 2, but they have most likely been discovered along with the two levels themselves by a few 
by a few wanderers who knew how to escape level zero. Wanderers who survived the scratchers pursuing them consistently described their paranoia to have a demon clawed entity stalking them. This is where they had gotten their name as many wanderers who managed to avoid the scratcher have called them as such. The scratchers, perhaps, they are just more primordial, abundant, and entities that wander all levels meeting the right conditions within the backrooms. That was level two of the backrooms and and the information about what a scratcher is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, like, subscribe, and comment down below. It would really help help me out a lot. And please ask questions in the comments and if you want me to answer them in a the future video. Goodbye, I'll see you next time.